What's up, peeps, and welcome back to the Lionel B Show. If it's your first time tuning into the channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, Patrice McDowell, a.k.a. Allison Dean, hasn't really changed much since the 1988 release of the Black Cult classic film, Coming to America. Now, the crazy thing about this, man, is that the actual movie was considered a dud before it even got a chance to see the light of day. But the movie actually went on to become one of the most profitable films of 1988 and earned its rightful place in history. Now, some of the lesser known facts about the movie is Eddie Murphy and the director John Landis actually did not get along at all on the set. Now, John was actually the same director that directed Trading Places, which also starred Eddie Murphy. And he actually just didn't like Eddie Murphy, man. You know what I'm saying? And the main reason he didn't like Eddie Murphy is because he felt like Eddie had changed and became way too Hollywood. Now, back when he did Trading Places, man, he was a lot more fun. He was fresh. He was exciting. But by the time Coming to America came around, Eddie was all Hollywood. And he just wasn't feeling it, man. And they actually got into some beef, man. And they didn't talk for several years. But this movie was also Eddie Murphy's first movie that he actually played multiple characters in an actual film. And another interesting fact is that The Lion King was actually inspired by Coming to America. The directors drew inspiration from James Earl Jones, who actually played the King father in both of the movies. Now, everybody remembers the famous McDowell restaurant, man. Funny part of the movie, not the funniest part, but definitely a funny part, just the whole concept and everything. Now, the famous McDowell's restaurant, man, was actually a real Wendy's restaurant that was actually closing soon. Now, if you look closely above the cash register in one of the scenes, a Wendy's menu is actually very visible right there. Now, McDonald's actually approved of the film stealing their identity and making a spoof of it. But a local McDonald's franchise owner threatened the production crew with a lawsuit because of the fake McDowell sign. And they thought they were actually trying to really knock off McDonald's and make it into a real restaurant. That's how real the actual set was for the movie. You know what I'm saying? Now, the first on-screen thought. Patrice McDowell, a.k.a. Allison Dean. She played the sister that was after Prince Akeem's heart. Now, upset that she never got the good ones, she was willing to settle for even the homie's entourage when she actually slid into the hot tub with Simi and later on end up smashing Daryl at the end. Now, when she did the movie, man, she was only 18 years old and she is currently 48 years old right now. Now, she was born on June 1970 in Wichita, Kansas, and she came from a very simple and hardworking family. Now, her family, man, they worked hard. They provided for her. You know what I'm saying? They put in long hours to ensure that she had a really good life. Now, with Allison, man, her dream was to always become an actress. And though that was her dream, she only went on to do two more major films before actually giving up acting entirely. Now, she did have roles in Speed 2 with Sandra Bullock and also in the, in the film Tears of the Sun. And she's also had a couple appearances in the TV show Girlfriend. Now, in 2010, she did production work on a TV series, Operation Wasteland, and a few other off-screen roles. Now, she initially started her career as a model and got a chance to travel and see the world. Now, basically, man, right now, Allison Dean, she currently keeps a very private life and she avoids social media and interviews. Now, the lady that played her sister, man, the, the actual princess, she does do interviews from time to time. And she was actually, you know, apparently married to the rapper Play from Kid and Play, which I find that interesting, man. She was definitely a beautiful lady as well as Allison Dean. But yeah, Allison Dean was the first on-screen thought, man. You know what I'm saying? To kind of be switching lanes and, you know what I'm saying, trying to get to do with the bag. And it's definitely interesting to see that she actually looks the damn exact same. She doesn't look a whole lot different. So I guess it's really true that black don't crack. So y'all drop y'all comments on this video. Let me know your favorite scene from Coming to America. Let me know your favorite scene with Allison Dean in it, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll peep y'all on the next one. Holla. Thank <laughs> you.